I'm uh, Ian Neeland. I'm a first year fellow at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. Um, we did a study on the associations of visceral and subcutaneous uh, adipose tissue in the abdomen and with regard to uh, different obesity phenotypes so the, of cardi cardiac and metabolic risk. Uh, so uh, within a prospective multi-ethnic uh, cohort study, we looked at the associations of abdominal, visceral, and subcutaneous adipose tissue, uh, which was assessed by magnetic resonance imaging, uh, with different biomarkers of cardiac and metabolic risk, including ins insulin resistance, dyslipidemia, uh, and imaging markers of abdominal aortic atherosclerosis, coronary artery calcium, and liver fat. So, so what we saw was that in 1,200 obese adults with an average body mass index of about 35 uh, kilograms per meter squared, with an average age of about 45, 66% uh, were women, 54% were black, we saw that visceral adipose tissue specifically, and not subcutaneous adipose tissue, was strongly associated with uh, an atherogenic and dyslipidemic obesity phenotype, whereas SAT, which is subcutaneous adipose tissue, was associated with a more benign metabolic phenotype. For instance, visceral adipose tissue was strongly associated with insulin resistance, adverse adipokine uh, proliferation, an atherogenic dyslipidemic uh, particle uh, profile, and with inflammation. Uh, we also saw that visceral adipose tissue, but not subcutaneous adipose tissue, was strongly associated with hypertension, with diabetes mellitus, metabolic syndrome, liver fat, and abdominal aortic atherosclerosis. Uh, so what are the implications of this uh, for uh, you know, ourselves and for future um, uh, patients is that it, we, we find that abdominal fat distribution can define uh, so obesity subphenotypes with regard to cardiac and metabolic risk. So specifically, looking at someone with their body mass index alone being obese does not tell you whether or not they're going to progress to uh, cardiovascular disease. However, looking at their visceral adipose tissue, and especially a mark of dysfunctional fat, may be able to uh, tell you about their future risk of cardiovascular disease. Whereas subcutaneous tissue, which is more associated with total body size, uh, really has very little to do in the obese population with cardiac and metabolic risk. So hopefully in the future, uh, as MRI gets less expensive and more feasible in the clinic setting, uh, this might be a tool for use in clinical risk prediction, specifically in the obese population. And actually in this study, the correlation coefficient was 0.04, which means they're not correlated pretty much at all in the obese population. Because once the idea is that once you get to the obesity threshold, the subcutaneous adipose tissue, which is your functional fat storage, is overwhelmed. And then you get ectopic fat depos deposition in the viscera, in the pericardium, uh, perirenally. And essentially, visceral adipose tissue is a marker of ectopic and dysfunctional fat where your subcutaneous uh, depot is overwhelmed by, obes by obesity. So at that point, your subcutaneous tissue uh, ceases to be a kind of a player in your cardiac metabolic risk, and the visceral and dysfunctional fat becomes uh, the major determinant of uh, adverse uh, obesity phenotypes.